Hello my soccer universe. As you can probably hear from my voice, I'm still very much in the recovery mo mode, but at least I have a voice. And I decided, yeah, the European qualifiers are starting today and I have a teeny bit of energy. And so let's make a little preview video before going back and recover some more. As you can see in the background, I put up a few shirts. Usually there will be more, but there's not much energy. For that I also wanted to change a little bit around the scarves, nah, not gonna happen for now. Even the closing uh, sequence is uh, still from the European qualifiers for the last Euros, or oh, 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 maybe for the European qualifiers for the World Cup. So also not quite updated yet, this will eventually get there, but uh, there, was, there are more important things at this moment. However. I have not really talked about the draw for the European uh, qualifiers when it was made, I want to say even last October, but it uh, it was before the World Cup, um, but it barely registered with me and it barely registered, I guess, with many because we were all in this dense pre-World Cup session and now uh, our heads were not there, but I knew it, uh, a few weeks ago that I have to slowly build up for it, you know write the programs, look at it uh, and get into it and kind of uh, get a glimpse and honestly if that draw would have happened uh, in January or so on, a, it would have had a lot, lot more input, yes it would be harder to, um, to plan everything, but it is quite a spectacular draw, I gotta say, uh, and it's all due to um, it is the seeding is based on the Nations League that we just had last year uh, on the final standings there, which meant that there are few big nations that are not in pot one, and there are few big nations that are in pot one that you would not expect there. So it is very, very, very uneven, and it resulted in quite a few uneven groups as well. And I think this we, this might actually have an impact in, this, in the sense that we will have a result. Uh, resulting 24 where um, yeah not everyone in there was quite expected and so yeah in this video I want to run through the groups um, show you uh, how uneven they are and you know some chances of moving on and then we look at the first set of games uh, and what games to watch out for. I have to say the first three match days are a whole lot more interesting than the latter two, but all will be revealed in time. Again, sorry for my voice, but I <laughs> it's as good as it can be at the moment. Okay. Let's get started. The first three groups will start in Group A, which is already a very interesting one. Uh, and I have to say the first three groups, in a way, are probably the highlight groups as well. But Group A, Spain, of course, are the clear favorites in there. But Scotland, Norway, and don't overlook Georgia. Don't overlook Georgia in that one. Now, uh, to add to that is there are three Nations League group winners in there, meaning that those have all already secured a playoff spot unless they qualify directly and you can see this on if you look on the left half to the uh, chances to the right you see that while chances for qualifying for Spain are relatively high the chances to make the players for Scotland and Georgia are even, even higher that doesn't mean they will qualify but at least they have the playoff spot as um, kind of uh, a safe guard where is Norway better get that second spot Norway, I think, has a good enough position within the Nations League ranking to make it into a potential playoff, but they don't have that safety net. And that's a big one, I would say. Um, Norway, of course, Erling Haaland, Martin Oede, Oedegaard is also the wild card in there um, that one would think they probably slightly higher rated than Scotland. However, Scotland has been rather sturdy and... Norway on the front is brilliant, on the back a little bit suspect. And then there is Georgia, who already gave Spain uh, quite the scare with Kvica Karatskelia uh, in World Cup qualifying. So I think this is a very interesting group overall. Um, as you, if you look now on the right side, it is expected that uh, my model says Spain, Norway, and then Scotland, and then Georgia. Um, I think Spain will be the first one but the question is who will finish second 
group B uh, is in a way a clear-cut thing because we have the Netherlands and we have France in there uh, who are the big favorites and France finishing only third in the uh, Nations League meant that they are in pot two so it's a relatively tough draw and similar to above we have in the Netherlands and Greece two teams that have already playoff spot secured this also means that Greece have actually a pretty good chance of qualifying this time around because for the last tournament they needed to finish second because otherwise they had no chance. Ireland is a little bit of a wild card in that one, but it's between Netherlands and France. It, it, one feels a little bit bad for Ireland and Greece, to be honest, because a second spot is not very realistic in this group. And so you also see that it's very clear France just ahead of the Netherlands, then Greece, and then Ireland. Group C is the group of death. Um, Italy have secured a playoff spot. They don't want to get in a playoff. They have bad Italy have bad experiences. You have England in there. You know that the Nations League B team for the next Nations League. You have Ukraine in there. Not an easy team. And then to top it off, North Macedonia. And you might think yeah, North Macedonia is not so big. No, Italy lost out to North Macedonia in the World Cup playoff. Uh, there's a lot of beef going on as well. I mean, Italy, Ukraine, there's a little bit. Uh, England, Ukraine, um, I don't want to say not beef on a political level, but you know, though there, there have been uh, meetings between uh, those uh, nations that were always a little bit tight, except at the last Euros, uh, with North Macedonia also being in there. But honestly, Italy and England should actually finish this group one and two. However, I have some doubts about the Italy squad at this moment. Uh, especially up front, they seem rather lightweight. Where is this England squad, while not being great in the Nations League, have shown at the World Cup that they are actually made of something quite uh, interesting. So we have to see. Um, my model says England's light favorites ahead of Italy and then Ukraine and then North Macedonia would agree because I think North Macedonia is a little bit at the end of the cycle but um, I would not discount them at all. Let's look at the next uh, three groups which are maybe not as in in interesting but they throw quite some uh, conflict potential let's put it that way. I mean group D, Croatia, Wales, Armenia, Turkey and Latvia. Um, at first you think yeah it should be easy for Croatia Turkey is actually rather highly up there. They have a playoff spot uh, secured. Wales have been doing well, but you know, maybe not so much at the World Cup. Um, but I think the, why this is a dicey group is we have Armenia against Turkey. Those two have not a good history politically. So that these two are playing each other, that's actually a pretty dicey thing happening there. And you know, between Croatia and Turkey, there always have been some. Uh, at, at least on the field, some interesting matches as well. It's Croatia and Turkey who are favored in there, with Wales being just behind uh, Turkey, which I think is a fair assessment there. Group E, uh, Poland, Czech Republic, two neighbors. Uh, I think Poles see the Czechs as a kind of small neighbors, although the Czechs have probably a little bit more soccer heritage, especially at the Euros. Uh, Poland probably is a slightly better team. Albania and the rest should be just um, cannon fodder for the big two. So I would uh, anything but Poland and Czech Republic coming out of that. Although Albania can spring an upset, but I would be surprised if it's anyone else but Poland and the Czech Republic. Now for my country, Austria. Uh, tricky group, I gotta say. Um, maybe not the easiest one. Belgium, Austria, Sweden, Azerbaijan and Estonia. Um, Belgium, maybe you could see is on the way a little bit down, so maybe there's a chance. Sweden, I don't know. I think they are, they should not be in a, to a pot three uh, class, but they also have been on a decline. Where Austria is hoping that they're on the up, but it's also not quite clear yet. I think this is a rather open group. Yes, Belgium have the best players. Austria and Sweden are very, very, very close. None here have the asterisk of making it into the playoffs for sure. And so at the moment it's Belgium, Sweden and then Austria. However, I would say even if Austria do not qualify, there is a relatively good chance that they make it into the playoffs. Uh, it really has to work, things have to work against Austria to not make it into the playoffs. I mean, 42% chance without having the asterisk 
I think is relatively strong. Um, of the outsiders, Estonia, I think, is an, uh, is, an, is an opponent all of the big teams should beat, but Azerbaijan is probably a little bit of a nasty one uh, that we'll see. Uh, as I said, my model has Sweden just ahead of Austria. Uh, I honestly like Austria's chances in this group. Whenever we play Sweden, we have done quite well. Then probably my favorite group, because it is so local except for, Lu for Lithuania. Uh, Hungary, Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria and Lithuania. Uh, Lithuania is cannon fodder in there and I am afraid that Bulgaria and Montenegro also... I am really sad to say, as you know, my wife is from, from Bulgaria, but uh, Bulgaria and Montenegro are at the, fo at the moment rather level, which is really sad to see. Uh, Hungary and Serbia should, should be the favorites there. Serbia, thanks to having a chance to go into the playoffs, but you know, Hungary will also go in the playoffs if they don't qualify directly. But Serbia is a rather strong team, also neighboring nations, everything in there. I mean, uh, Hungary, Serbia is, is neighbor with Hungary, Montenegro and Bulgaria. That's what it says. So I think this will be a rather interesting group. It's our last five team group and it will fin at my model says, Serbia have the biggest chances of finishing top and then Hungary, Montenegro and Bulgaria. Um, group H, the first 16 group also has some interesting things because we have Denmark and Finland meeting again. There was something yesterday at the beginning of the last Euros. That was the game where Christian Eriksen got his heart attack, if you, uh, if you like. Uh, Kazakhstan is very secure in the playoffs already. They have a, a playoff spot, so uh, the only chance that they're not making is that they are finishing second. They are an interesting teams. Slovenia and Northern Ireland are always teams that could surprise, uh, especially when you see there's Finland in there. I mean, this is a group that's Denmark and the rest. Well, I think for the rest, Denmark, the rest, and then San Marino. But between those four, I can see anything happen. Uh, at the moment, it's actually Slovenia ahead of Finland, which, given that the talent that Slovenia is bringing up, is probably not uh, not a big surprise. Group I, I really envy the Swiss. It's what a sweet draw. I mean, Israel have a serious chance of qualifying. They have already a playoff spot. They will be in League A in the Nations League next time, time, time around. They have a really good chance of qualifying uh, here, but Switzerland is the best team. Romania, Kosovo, ba uh, Belarus. Um, just and then it's, for me, it's more between Kosovo and Israel. Then I'm not sure about what Romania, but I, I, I'd be happy to see surprises. The model says Romania ahead of Israel and Kosovo. So wide open group, except for top spot. And then we have the last group: uh, Portugal, Bosnia, Iceland. Also a rather sweet group for poor Portugal. Uh, it will be really hard to not qualify from that one. Iceland is on the way down. Bosnia is a team that probably will make it through Luxembourg and Slovakia. Slovakia is probably a surprise that they were only in pot 5, uh, but they have not been good as of late. So uh, there's more name than anything else. Um, Portugal and Bosnia, but Slovakia could be there. Iceland, yeah, the story is over. You also see here uh, on the left side if the... Uh, is a sample playoff path. The way that the playoffs are made is relatively complicated because there is also a random component. For instance, if there are five League B teams, then they will uh, draw uh, four teams that go into this League B path and the last one goes then, for instance, in the League A path. That's the most likely thing to happen. Whereas the League C is probably relatively easily filled in. Uh, there are some regulations that uh, group winners, those are the ones with the stars, cannot face teams from a league that is higher. So that also has to be in taken in the, in the, into the account and that you want to group as many teams from one league together as possible. Meaning League C will be probably formed and we'll get League B, will most likely more than four teams. So you draw four out of these and then the rest will make the final one with Estonia as the best team from League D being for sure in there unless they have qualified. So if it gets to that, that point, Estonia have also a really good chance to make it into the playoffs. And so by that, this is a sample draw where um, you see this League C, all the group winners make a path and then you see the other ones. If we go more by expected standings, you see Austria will not make it, but they play then against uh, Estonia and Wales and Iceland in the playoff. Israel, Ukraine, Scotland, Finland, Georgia, Luxembourg, Greece, Kazakhstan is a more realistic playoff scenario right there. 
Okay, we looked through the groups. Let's look at uh, some matches that are come, come, come up there of interest. I mean, already today we have two pretty interesting ones. I mean, Denmark, Finland, yes, because of the Ericsson's thing, but it's all about Italy, England played in Naples. I'm afraid it will cause a whole lot of trouble, but that's a real major game to start it off. Portugal Liechtenstein will probably see Cristiano Ronaldo break the most kept uh, the, the the record for most caps for a male player. So that's also uh, one to watch. On Friday, Austria is playing in Linz against Azerbaijan. I'm not going for that one. I'm not even with that. Bulgaria Montenegro, as I said, there's it's close by, but it's all France Netherlands and also Czech Republic Poland and Sweden Belgium. There are three really 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 good games in there. Uh, but uh, the eye-popping fixture is, of course, France and ne Netherlands. Then we go on um, the Saturday. Spain, Norway. Erling Haaland is not playing, so not not so great. We have Armenia, Turkey. That's the that, 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 that's a dicey one. Uh, Scotland will debut the 150-year kit against Cyprus, so maybe that will be um, a nice one. Uh, two flags that are very similar than Croatia, Wales, I think. That's also those are two World Cup starters, so don't overlook that fixture as well. I also give you now just because I'm hoping I can make on Sunday a video, but you know if I cannot, here are the other fixtures that are come coming up. England, Ukraine, I think will be a big one. Uh, England have a really rough start with first playing Italy and then Ukraine. Uh, Italy have to go to Malta, should get some look at Portugal, Luxembourg. Yeah, that last time they met, that was not that uh straightforward slovakia bosnia is probably uh, an overlooked one austria play another one in linz against Est estonia hungary bulgaria ireland france sounds cool but i think france will win this rel relatively easily montenegro serbia just for you know all time's sake in a way i want to point that one out the netherlands should actually win easily over gibraltar and then on the last day uh i think it's all about turkey croatia Georgia Norway is a little bit slow. Uh, Squad Skelly against Odegaard. Scotland Spain, of course, has a certain ring to it as well. So, yeah, that's it for me. We start for the road to Germany 2024. That's why I chose the Germany shirt. I'm going back and lie down now. I will to get enough rest that I can watch the England Italy game tonight. Please let, let me know how you thought. I think the groups will be going. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Sorry again for my voice. And I will talk to you soon, probably on Sunday. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.